All right, we got a special one for you today. Uh, phenomenal boot check with uh, probably the craziest, most expensive Lucchese boots I've ever seen. So, and we're going to compare those a little bit to uh, a couple that I think are even better. But before we do, a, a quick watch check and a here. So, so this is the uh, Hublot. Uh, the Fuente edition, so it's it's actually got, I've shown this one before, but uh, got cigar leaves around it, so very appropriate for this video, and we'll get into the Euro Cave here, and I'm going to do one that, I haven't reviewed too many of these uh, Tatuajes, uh, uh, really good cigars, uh, this is the uh, Cohetes uh, Habano, and uh, smaller cigar, uh, they had them discounted, and uh, I, I thought, what a great deal. You know, these uh, they came out to be like five bucks a stick, and you can see I got the whole, uh, the whole bundle there. So we're going to try one of these out and see what we think. So as we do, here we've got the Cohete, a uh, nice darker wrapper, uh, the lighting here. Not showing as oily as it is. There's Jenny. She's Jenny saying hi. There's there's Daisy. Um, but uh, we'll get this cut. We'll light it. But uh, we're going to talk about these Lucases. All right. So we're going to get to these uh, these boots. Now you might have seen uh, on Lucases website they have a boot called the Baron. And the Baron runs about $16,000. It's full alligator. Not lit enough. Um, and what I mean by full alligator is obviously the bottom and the top of the boot is all American alligator. Now, what I found is a different version. I don't think this is the Baron because I believe this is Nile Crocodile. And you'll see it, but it's full Nile Crocodile, bottom and top, signed by the bootmakers themselves. And uh, they claim it's also a $16,000 boot. Now, I don't know. I was able to get it less than that, but uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, and by the way, this Tetawahe of uh, four by 50, um, is is a uh, good for a short smoke this one uh, the habano has a nice habano wrapper nicaraguan tobacco nice oily sheen the camera didn't really i don't think picked up on that but oily sheen on the wrapper uh kind of like a, a darker maduro type of habano wrapper uh very good very tasty uh, medium strength, perfect draw, um, just a nice, nice, uh, yeah, mild medium, more, more medium, certainly a nice a midday cigar. But I'll, I'll check in on the cigar as we go, but let's, uh, let's take a look at the boots. So one thing though, I want to compare them is uh, to what I think are two of the most tremendous Lucchese boots, and I've done some review. So this is uh, a really a, a bigger gator uh, Lucchese. Um, this one was made by Burns Boots. I did a review of this one. Burns Boots out in uh, Park City, Utah, collaboration with Lucchese. Phenomenal boot, not well shined right there yet. I've been wearing them. So that is a tremendous boot. And then, of course, we have these that I reviewed. These are the Jayco's uh, Lucchese Special Edition made by uh, Jayco's designer or designed by Jayco's uh, in New York City. Uh, alligator, got some teal. And then ostrich up up the boot. So I mean, a phenomenal boot. I don't think I'll ever beat this boot. This is a 
Probably the nicest boot I've ever seen, nicest boot I've ever wore. Incredibly comfortable. But here we go. Mukasey boot maker. Ready for this? All right, let's get it open. Going to be incredible. Let's take a look at it. All right, so Lucchese wrapped uh, in a very nice uh, boot bag. Got the, these are new, it's sort of silver tips on them. Uh, but let's pull them out of the boot bag and see what we got. Gosh, these are so nice. Um, so here we go. Full alligator, black cherry. Look at this. Unbelievable. Gorgeous boot. Nile crocodile. Uh, it has been worn a little bit. I kind of touched up the bottom, but very, very little. I mean, if it's been worn two or three times, I'd be surprised. Um, just a phenomenal boot. And then on the inside, all right, this one's not the one that's marked. But you can see it's a GF1129. I believe that L1122 is the the month and the year it was made, November of 2022. 10 and a half D, perfect fit. Um, just amazing. I love this uh, just really tight scale of the now crock it out and then it's it's a bias cut so it, it really is uh bias means just kind of set off to the side at an angle um phenomenal looking boot we're going to try it on see how they look on but uh look at that boot black cherry really nice coloring so let's let's take a look at the other one the other one's got the signature on it so Let's look at that. So here we go. Second boot. Oh, just phenomenal. So this one, as you might be able to see, see if I can get the camera to focus. Again, just look at that scaling. The alligator. This one is signed by the boot makers themselves. So one of them, Jose Ramirez, I don't think it's a Jose Ramirez on the Cleveland Guardians, but uh, nonetheless. So let's try them on, let's see how they look on the feet. All right, so here we go. Here they are on. What an amazing color. Um, The alligator all the way up to the leg. Look at that. Wow. Now, polished, certainly. Um, they're brand new, basically. So, I still like these larger scales on these birds boots. They need a little bit of a polish. And then... Comparatively speaking, I mean, this can this teal with the ostrich is just so unique. It's hard to beat, but you know, this uh, is just a phenomenal color combination there with the teal and the blue. And then you got the black cherry. You got the lighter, the kind of medium brown. Wow, which ones do I wear, right? Well, if you're interested, I can tell you I'm likely going to put these for sale. Now, uh, if you don't believe me on the price, check out the Lucchese website. Do a search for Lucchese Baron, and you'll see the American Alligator, and they're... You know, they're $15,000, $16,000. Um, these are the same. It's just uh, Nile 
crocodile belly. I think just as good, um, but I will say too, this has a walking heel. So, it's a little more comfortable walking around than the bigger heel. It's the same as my uh, Jayco's boots. They got a walking heel. As opposed to uh, the bigger heel, the more traditional cowboy boot uh, there. So, boy, it's just, I, I, got a, I got a nice deal on it. I still spent a pretty penny. I'd like to recover uh, some money on these. I got to pay some stuff off. So, so, I likely will be putting these up on eBay, but if you're interested, you can leave me a comment below. Again, wow, look at that. Is that something else or what? Wow. So, uh, anyway, so there you have it. Let me wrap up on this uh, Tatuaje here. So I really did kind of get caught up in these boots and lost track of the smoke for my cigar fans here, but I'll say that this uh, Tetawai uh, Cohete Habanos is uh, it's a really pleasant smoke. Uh, I'm really happy with the deal I got. Again, my uh, one of my cigar shops that I go to, they will put some cigars on closeout that don't sell, and some of them are kind of crappy, but some of them are really good. You know, I mentioned the Sencios that I've smoked, and those are phenomenal. But these uh, Tetuajes were. It's always a good smoke. Um, Pete Johnson, I think, is the, the guy there, and I've heard nothing but great things about him and uh, cigars he makes, but these, these are really good. Um, excellent draw. The burn is consistent. Remains flavorful. Uh, not too peppery, a little bit, but anyway, great cigar, highly recommended, but yeah, so check out the boots, I'm going to do another kind of a Lucchese special on uh, the different Lucchese's I have, kind of compare those, so you may see these again on there, but uh, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, have a great day, and yeah, we'll talk to you soon.